de ce moment, vous cessez de faire et commencez à être. À être. It was an absolutely absorbing selection, and uh, uh, it was it was such a fascinating spectrum. I was uh, I was blown away by it. Actually, it was absolutely, absolutely fascinating, actually, and really stimulating. Projects are one thing, but it's the energy, it's the presentation. They come from all over the place. They speak perfect English. Incredibly talented, amazing young woman from around the world. And that in itself, I think, is, is just really special. Every entry had something extremely original and utterly kind of captivating to offer. I'd certainly not seen anything quite like it before with the architecture, with the material uh, quality of the architecture and the structural invention uh, that she put into the work. Just an amazing complete package, really exceptional. The most striking thing for me about the winner of the Architect of the Year was the bold simplicity of the project. The winning project had all the signs of competence, enthusiasm, experimentation, uh, courage. The conviction in the simplicity of her idea and the drive to get it built and ultimately its beauty. Yeah, for the relevance for women in architecture, I mean just as women in society generally actually, is that it needs to be equal and we need to get the right number of women practicing which will give us the right kind of balance within our industry. Primarily we're recognizing great architecture and great buildings. It is also a great opportunity to recognize that sometimes achieving those as a woman in the environment in which we all live and work can throw more challenges in your way but the resolve and the enthusiasm and the ambition that all of the people we looked at today and met today showed was real testament to the fact that that doesn't need to stand in the way of great architecture. I think that the architecture of the future, if it's done by the women we have seen today, I've got no problems. You may be right.